Okay, so mm -hmm. Rob Johnson, you're the you're the creator of Skydive Designer, aren't you? Yes. Okay, so we we're starting now, Ryan. Yeah, why not? Just fuck it. Let's just get in there. All right. I should probably bleep that. Rob Johnson, hello, welcome. You're the you're the. I don't know why we're doing this. But you're, I just feel like I'm taking over as a podcast host now. Oh look, podcast. Woo. Um, let's let's go, Brian. Hey, this is my show. This is my app. Come on. I know, but how do you want to do it? Um, okay, so well, let's do a quick quick update. You've downloaded the app. You've had a little have, play with it. I have. Um, oh, yeah. And you suggested that we kind of get on a call to give you a bit of a lesson, um, help you out, kind of show show kind of you know how things work, um, and that that might be useful for other people. I think it'd be amazing. Yeah, I've had the app. I downloaded it. I had a little play for sort of ten minutes like at 1am one night when I didn't want to go to bed and this looked like more fun and I got a bit stuck. So um, it's probably me being an idiot. And I thought, what better so, way uh, to- I kind of, the first thing I'd say on it is um, to a degree, it's, it's a little bit like Photoshop in that there's quite a lot of power in the app, but um, it is going to take you a little while to learn it. So if you're expecting to just leap in and everything um, be immediately apparent, um, then sorry. <laughs> So watch this video, watch the other tutorial videos. Um, but with that said, um, let's start. You, you sent me a couple of um, sort of pencil diagrams. This is the jump you want to make, Brian. Uh, we've got the, yes. the stick men. Um, if you launch the app now. Cool, it's just launched. I'm just going to bring it onto this screen here. Brilliant. And so this opens up in the kind of file window. It's because it's a document-based app. You can basically have multiple... Um, multiple windows open and so on. It's honestly, it's a bit weird the way it starts in the finder, but that's just what Apple have determined. So for a new file, you're going to click on the new document in the bottom left. Perfect. That's something's popped up on my other screen. Let me drag it across. Brilliant. So, uh, give it a name. Bigger way skills cam 2021 day two. Brilliant. And um, you could put the tunnel on if you wanted, but you don't want any tunnel. Yet. So this is this is just a circle on the diagram. So I don't I want the sky. So I'm going to click NA. Cowabunga. Ah. Okay. So um, actually, the the best we're, we're going to be dealing with symmetry here. Your jump is six way rotational symmetry. Um, so the easiest thing is actually just to start by deleting this one guy who's sitting here. So click on him. Yeah, so six-way rotational symmetry. Okay, so I'm going to click on him and click the little bin icon. Yep. Excellent. Um, okay, now we need to set up the symmetry. Um, so the bar on the right, uh, the rotational symmetry. Which there is you the go. far right one. Yeah, and six-way. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the magic. Now, thinking about how the symmetry works, um, is just going to make everything so much easier. And that's pretty much any jump you want to build, um, getting the symmetry right. And you can switch it around as you kind of build through the jump. Um, but getting that right is just going to massively reduce your work and make for nice, neat diagrams. Um, so why don't you drag in the guy to kind of make the center of the star? From the bottom left? Bottom left, yep. So click the up arrow. You don't need to. You can just drag that one guy. So if you click the up arrow, it will give you uh, different formations ah. to pick from. And just drop them anywhere. Drop them in. Well, and you'll see what happens. Sweet. So now if you drag him out a little bit, you can just kind of make that star the right size. Ah, uh, OK. Oh, you cute. Go. So I'm going to want to zoom out. OK. Uh, yeah. And actually, the next point is quite fun because you've actually got three-way symmetry at the next one because you've got singles and then doubles going round in the gaps. Uh, yes. So let's stick, um, move over to three-way rotational symmetry now. And you can see the app has already kind of reinterpreted the guys you've got there. Um, so uh -huh. it's now kind of seeing, well, there's sort of two leaders here who each have their clones. Um, but you just go ahead and drag out uh, the next guy. So someone to fill one of those gaps. So rotate them around. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh. 
And then for the dragging, you actually don't need to click on him. You can click anywhere on the screen, um, which makes it a little bit easier when you're kind of uh, working in tight spaces. The rotation, you need to be on the circle. Yes, you do. Yeah. Um, oh, although amazing. you can use the buttons. We've got, you see the rotate selection buttons on the right hand side. So you can use them to rotate. Uh, just hidden beneath my zoom thing. So what are these arrows? Yeah. Ah, okay. So, so now actually something degrees? you might want to pick at this point is to lock angles. Um, and that'll mean that when you rotate people, they lock to increments of 15 degrees. Um, so again, it just makes it that little bit neater. Okay. Um, so this guy's going to have to have wide arms to get those legs. Yep. So, can I click on adjust selection? Yep. Ooh. Uh, uh, too far. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to do that one by by hand there. Um, oh, okay. So, but. And it's also that you see it's kind oh. of like locking into those fifteens. You know. So yeah. I uh, because it won't. Oh shit! It won't be. I'll edit that bit out. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Although all skydiving load organizers are over 18. Um, I was because this isn't quite a symmetrical six way, I imagine, because it's got two people in the middle of the other places. So it won't be some gaps will be slight, these gaps will be slightly narrower than they will look on the picture. I, I mean, my thought would be just don't worry too much about, you know, exactly. Where the arms and legs are, kind of, we know that. Or, yeah. you know, or you could push the guys in a little bit and make it a little bit tighter. Um, switch back to six way um, before you do that. Oh, whoops. Because you just moved. Oh, control Z works. Amazing. Yeah, did you just hit Control Z? I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Control Z works. So, you know, that, that kind of gives you, that's probably a more realistic size there, right? Yeah. Um, and I've spent quite a lot of time, you know, the, all these people are my size. <laughs> so I've spent quite a lot of time measuring and kind of taking photos from, you know, the upstairs window of me lying on the ground to try and get all the scales right. So it's actually, it's pretty good. Um, wow. At, at how it looks. <laughs> um, so let's go back to the, we're on three race symmetry and we want to drag in um, the, the next pair. Two solo people at a time. So pop it up. I don't. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to do two solos. You might want to change stance before you do that as oh, well. Oh, we could do you could that pair there. You're gonna have to tweak them a little bit. But you probably want them narrow arms and just a little bit narrower body, right? Or... Ah, how do I? Oh no, that was fine. That was fine. It was just everybody else that moved at the same time that I caught my eye. So now you want to be, you don't want to be doing the pair probably, you want to move them individually, right? Uh, oh, okay. Yes, that works. Yeah. And you, so when you want to pick up a couple at a time, um, on iOS, there's a button for multi-select, but on Mac, you just use the control and multi click on multiple people to kind of select multiple. Uh, where is that then? So let's say you want to select everybody right now. Yep. So you can hit the control button and then you can just click on different people. And I'm guessing you're not hitting the control button. You, are you holding I'm holding control, control down. Uh, have you shifted over your keys? Um, Command? Yeah, try command. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Command, That's right. I've switched my yeah. Mac around, so it's more like Windows. Um, there you go. Or you could do Control A, which would select everybody. Or uh, Command A, sorry. Yeah, done that. Command A, and it's only well, selecting the the real people that I've dragged on. Everyone else is symmetry. Yes. Yeah, so while we're there, yes. why don't you hit Very the rainbow good. button, uh, the little rainbow paint button, <laughs> and that just gives everyone some color. <laughs> wow! Isn't everyone so cheerful? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like a cheerful <laughs> skydiving picture? Crikey. Every colour's a different aeroplane, right? Well, we're going to have separate colours for aeroplanes shortly. Cool. 
you push on? Yeah, I can wait for it. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of just filling the gaps, right? So um, you've got, what have you got? You've got solos behind your pairs. I do. Is that, so that's still triple, what did you call yeah, that? Yeah, three-way three symmetry. Three-way symmetry, okay. Yeah. So solo behind the pair. Feel a bit bad that he's not on that line now. I feel like he should be on that line. <laughs> and then I've got another pair. Is that right? Yeah. So what have you got there? You've got solo behind the pair, and then you've got a pair in the next two gaps. I feel like my diagram is actually more confu more confusing than I realised. Ah, so I've got two pairs, haven't I? Yeah. So you've got a pair pair here, and then a pair in the next gap round. And you probably need to straighten them out a bit. Okay, so click on one, come around a little bit. There you go. It's really handy not having to click on the person that you're moving. Yeah, yeah, it makes a real big difference. It's kind of, it's, it's one of those things when I started with the app, that was kind of the natural iOS way as you expect to click on the guy to move it. But then I realized it's actually a lot easier if you don't have to do that. Yeah, so you can pick your own color if you wanted to, um, the you know, paintbrush with the plus. Um, I'm but finding it quite distracting it's... actually. Right. How do I get them all one color? Oh, so control A. Oh, come back, come back. Oh, I can just control Z. Yeah. So control okay. A selects everyone. Yep. And um, click on the blue. That's used the last color we used. Yeah, fine. So it's when interesting to... how it's moved my symmetry around a little bit now. Yes. So what happened there was when you did control Z, um, it's essentially it's pulled up an, uh, the data of the jump and it's had to rework out the symmetry. Um, and the way I've get, got it is it kind of works out the symmetry from the bottom outwards. Which makes sense, because normally you would, that's the bit you would be looking at. I was feeling it was a bit weird when I was off to my left. Cool, okay. Okay, what have we got now? So now it's pairs, some more pairs going round, right? How many jumpers have I got on the screen? 30. Why does it say that? Uh, on the right, where the number of jumpers. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. Do you want to just put your pointer over that just to show people there? There you go. Brilliant. Okay, so now I need... So you've got, got another set nine, of pairs. You've got pairs got behind a single. People. Basically, no, I've got... It's a 46-way, because it's two sky bands, 46-way plus two camera. Yeah. So I need a 46 people, so I need 16 more people, so I've got eight pairs. Yeah. So what I do is I just carry on um, with the symmetry, put everybody in, and then we can just remove one or two jumpers to trim it down. So you had a pair behind a single. And I'm starting to think that we should have a, a sort of a preset um, formation, which is just two people kind of facing forwards rather than at the 45 degrees. Uh, so you may see that in a later version. Oh, cool. Ah, don't click on them. It's too clever for that. Uh, but do click on them to rotate. How do, so maybe I do need them at 45 degrees here, actually. Where's the, where's the right place? So if I click bin now, I'm only going to bin off these two skydivers on the left of the screen and the right. other. I remember you can always control Z. Sweet. Uh, 
So I'd put the pair behind your solo guy because um, that's. Uh, yes, I was just trying to work out where the other solo was that wasn't on the top left of the screen. Yeah. I'm just zooming out to make a bit more space. So I came up with this idea for this formation a couple of months ago. Yeah. So then there's the there's the one more pair just kind of between these two clusters. So at yeah, what, seven o'clock. Well, I need four more jumpers, but it's got to be. Yeah. So I'd add the six more by doing the the symmetry. And uh, then you're gonna have to trim. Uh, maybe I made it a forty-eight way on the top, without realizing it. I didn't include a camera docking. Yeah. Cool. And then I'm just gonna. Right. So that's the forty-eight. Ah, and then now I would take off symmetry. Yes. Yeah. So just to put it onto the the light square. There you go. Um, and now individuals that you want to kind of chop. I feel like the clash is here. Well, yeah, I need to get rid of two people. Yeah. So those won't be so bad if you straightened them up, right? You could be doing this with symmetry still. I just realized that. So it's not too late. So symmetry will pick things up as well. So you don't need to undo. You can just kind of um, go back into the symmetry. Oh, no, wait. Um, How do I redo something then? So I just, well, uh, I just I fire just, up the symmetry now. So fire up um, the. Well, I just did control symmetry. Z. So I'm back to being completely symmetrical now. Okay. Um, I mean, that's fine, right? Control Shift Z, I think, is to redo. Ooh. Or Command Shift Z. Or you do it on the menu. So there's edit, um, redo. Oh, it's shift set. There you go. Amazing. And you say that actually the symmetry will now. So if you up. click on the symmetry, um, then it's going to figure out who's matched. And it, it's got a certain amount of tolerance. So it's still going to see those people as matched. And if you then move them, then their counterparts will move with you. So if you uh, move okay. again, then it'll pick up their counterparts. At least it should. Yeah. yeah. So just slide them back out. Yeah, exactly. Or so rotate me. left and right or something like that. Cool. And then that other pair is just to the right of those guys. You want to tidy them. Yeah, so it is pretty tight. I guess that's that is the place to pull people. So you've got three of those yeah. kind of clusters of four, and you want to take out two of two people. the individuals. So I need to turn off symmetry again. Yeah. Oh. Axum. I like that block move. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's Apple trying to be clever and figure out who's the same people and getting it massively wrong. Well, it didn't really change anything overall. It hasn't, it's just the you know people have moved back to the same positions. It hasn't changed anything. Yeah, um, so I've got forty-seven there. Yeah, so I've got another solo person. I don't want to get rid of. It. <laughs> I love this dance. So I'm hoping you've got a second point on this, Brian. No, it's a big way skills camp. It's all about getting there. And okay. um, it's relatively low experience. It's a, I'm hoping it's a fairly robust formation that will take some, I'm not going to say carnage combat docks, but um, it's slightly heavier, stronger. So it, sh it should have an element of robustness in it. But no, it's... I will be. Um, can I suggest oh. that we just quickly fake up a second point? Um, yeah, absolutely. Fun. Um, so, because so this is built now, right? This is this is your first point. 
Yes, but how, how would I print it off? Or how would I share this? Okay, well, let's do that quickly. Um, so if you click on the, so the design um, on the right hand side, you've got basically the three menus. So the edit, the slotting, the kind of view options. Well, let's, let's go through them. What am I looking? So looking? Um, click, on the, click on the plane. Ah. So this is where we start doing slotting. Uh, I guess we'll come back to this. Okay. Uh, um, view. View options. Um, so you can start showing uh, some additional stuff and kind of coloring and stuff. So symmetry info is actually really interesting when you're kind of learning how the symmetry works, but you won't see anything unless symmetry is turned on. Um, so person and slot will show you people and slots once you've applied those. Yeah. And if you're having a load of information, you might want to on single line labels. Yes. Cool. Um, and this is where you can turn the tunnel back on and off, by the way, if you wanted the tunnel. It won't fit in a 32 way, 32 foot tunnel, unfortunately. Yeah, you're gonna have to trim that outside outside layer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up is the little clock icon. Um, that is, um, so it's weird that you're just seeing black there. That is a bug. Um, and I don't know why that's showing for you. That should show you little pictures of um, every step of the formation um, to undo and go back in history. Um, so I'll check on that. Um, I'm guessing that's a, a Mac one that just needs to be sorted. Um, and then next up is the kind of extra stuff. And we've got a couple of different things here. So we've got publish, we've got make a jump manual. Um, let's start with that, which is the PDF. Which one? Uh, let's start with jump manual. So sim single point jump. So you've only got one point to show on the right. Um, we haven't done the slotting. So you're actually, you haven't really got many options to show on that. Um, so you're, you're, pretty much, you're pretty much here. If you hit generate in the bottom left, that'll make a PDF for you of this. So save PDF, save images. Yeah, so you can save the, the individual image from the points or PDF. Uh, yeah, open is weird. What's going on there? I think that's just an unhelpful file save label. It saved me a PNG file. Great. Um, so save PDF will do the same thing probably. Oh, oh. save PDF. Yeah, so you're picking the folder to save in. Um, it's just the fact that it says open is a bit weird. Cool. PDF is there. Let me drag it on. Sweet. Nice. Cool. That's really handy. So let's do the let's do the share online option. Share uh, so PDF, click, share images. Say again. Oh, yeah, so what yeah. that'll do is it'll pop them up into, you know, WhatsApp or email or that kind of stuff. Um, so let's click down here well and do the publish online thing. Ah, so sharing is not that, it's quite the same as, okay, so it's sharing the file you've created. Exactly. Something yeah. slightly different, okay. So this publish is just, them? yeah, hit the button. Because we have, what's roster? Um, so once you've got a load of people, um, then you can start saying, you know, hey, you know, Brian and Rob and Leslie uh, are on this jump and you can just kind of show that list. Um, alternatively, okay. you can just show the, this position is A1 in the plane, this position is A2 and, and we're not telling you who's on it yet. Yeah, it's 2021, we don't know who's on any big way right now. <laughs> That's true. So just hit publish. Hit, hit publish. Um, so why don't you copy that link um, and yeah, so bring up a browser or yeah, browser is going to be best. Uh, let me find. And just paste that in. Post that in. Yeah. And obviously you share this in WhatsApp or, or whatever else. 
Um, and here it is. So Clever this enough. is now um, something you can share with anyone who doesn't have the app. Um, it works on anyone who can get the web. So Android, iOS, whatever, um, you can send that through. What does that do? Uh, zoom to fit. Ah, fit, okay. Rob, that is really clever. Cool. Okay. Should we head back? Um, I really want to do a second point. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm going to click done. Click done, yeah. And um, so, you know what, let's do some slotting first. Um, because that's, that's probably the first thing to remember. So you've got nothing to share at the moment on the slotting, but if you hit the plane button, um, now you've got two caravans, right? No, two sky vans. Two sky vans, sorry. So hit the add plane and add a sky van. Um, and in fact, why don't you add, an, add a third plane, which is another sky van, and then we can delete that otter. And then hit the edit button um, up by planes. And you can just delete that. So uh, it's the little red. Oh. Ah. There you go. So yeah, click on that and delete. And back to click done up by the planes. Unless you wanted to rename those sky bands. Um, good. Nah. So let's let's not do everybody, but we'll kind of drag a few out. So um, got to have me in there. Obviously, oh, you want to have some people as well. well? Let's do that. Click on the person on under the plane, okay? Um, and my little helpful pulse is telling you where to click next. Do you want to be on this jump, Rob? I would love to be on this jump. Um, by the way, once you put in a list once, um, you can save the list and then you can load it up in different jumps. Um, or you can load a list from just a, a, a text file with one person on each line. This is looking pretty good. I think we might build this. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, so make sure to click add to jump to add them all in. Um, and I think you should take your position of glory, Brian. Why don't you take yourself do I drag um, it? Put yourself somewhere. Do I drag? Yeah. Ah. Cool. Yeah, late dive for me, please. A late dive. Sure thing. Love it. I'll put Leslie next to you so she can look after you. She can, she can yeah, make sure I'm going in the right direction. And I'll make Sean and Milko holding hands as well. Perfect. There we go. Um, so that's, that's them slotted and you can move them around. Why don't you put, um, say put shine in front of Milko. You just drag her, um, on the page, on the screen. You can put it where you want. So just pick up Sean and oh, the, the name. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you can move people around really easily. Okay, cool. That is handy. Back to, back to holding hands. Um, so click back on the plane. Um, so the plane under the plane and you can start allocating slots as well. Oh. Um, a plane, so. Don't overthink it. Where's the general. door? In your, no, in your nomenclature, oh, whatever that word is. Yep. Four syllables, I shouldn't have gone there. Um, your 23rd person is going to be the last person out of the plane, right? Yes. So I've got floaters, so it's going to be, so it's going to be like four, five, six. And, and that's great. Let's just kind of stop there. You can, you can see how you can work that through. Um, I just want to do. You want to do B21 as well, because that's, that's me. <laughs> Only 21? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to go ahead of Leslie. <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> okay. Um, 
so the, let's just kind of run through the other options on this. So we've, we've got the plane, we've got the person, we've got the kind of three dots. Um, why don't you click on that one and that'll just show you, um, it, it, that's just the kind of, hey, what's, what's going on, the sort of overview there. Yep. And then the little, uh, that one, the little speech bubble, um, you can like put a little load organizer symbol on yourself or a line of flight symbol. What? I can put that on top of the per Oh, okay. Yeah, so that just marks line of flight and your um, super okay. floater that's how is you, over there. That's how you signify your super floater. So I wondered where that was going to come in. Well, and you can put anything else in there as well. So you can put, you know, this guy is the, um, you know, the dummy pull or whatever. So if you just did like the click there, um, you know, whatever you might think is useful. Yeah, like a tracking. I mean, this is going to be too big. I imagine. Yeah, that's going that's, that's, that's to be too much, but yeah, you could do that. But as an abbreviation, we'd come up with an abbreviation for that, but as, as a, for yeah. this demonstration. So let's let's yeah. go back and share that again. Um, so click on next one along. Um, there you go. And if you click publish online and just update jump. So now if we pull up that browser and do a reload. Oh, I can't remember if you clicked to allow roster. No, I didn't. You didn't. So why don't you go back there and click allow roster and allow slotting. There you go. Update okay, jump. now updated. Yeah. Fresh. So it works straight to all oh, slots. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got down beneath, you've got the list of people and, and where they are and so on. Ah, oh, clever. Okay, Ross is just a list of people in alphabetical order. Slotting is slotted. Sweet. Cool. Now you know it's actually so Milko and Sean aren't showing in the slots because you haven't given them a slot, right? Yeah. So remember they okay. were on, they were the pair on the right hand side, and it doesn't have an A seven or a you know a B twenty one or whatever for those guys, so it, it hasn't shown them anyway because they don't have anywhere to go yet. Oh, and I only gave the two people with names you and I. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so let's go back to the app again. Um, Does it, show, it doesn't show who's load organizer or line of flight, though. Uh, it seems not. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, add that to my jobs. <laughs> um, so kill this one. Kill or like hit done on there. Um, so the slotting list um, uh, or email slotting list. Once you've actually set everybody up. Um, that gives you a very quick button to, that is horrible display there. That has not worked correctly. But that's um, only because it's done two people, right? Uh, I actually think it's because it's formatted weirdly. It just hasn't gone properly into the mail. Oh, it should be a list. So it should be a list. And it, it should will be a be list, a list within a week's time. That you sent to manifest. Yeah, this will be fixed shortly. Um, uh, but if you do the slotting list, just the, um, the kind of the document one, that'll just give you a little text file. This one. Yeah. Um, and, you know, what happens if you just click on mail to send that into mail? Uh, these are all your sharing options there. So sorting list. Um, so on oh, iOS, it, it just, you know, just. Um, I don't use uh, my mail app on my Mac. OK, yeah, so I think that's why it didn't work properly. It sent it into a different mail app and it didn't format. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Yeah. So that is um, sent to manifest when you're ready to go. That's clever. It's like you thought through this stuff, Rob. <laughs> thought through it. And I have had a lot of feedback from um, yeah, people who've done this before. <laughs> wow. So I'm keen to do that second point. Do you yes, have time to do, do that? that? Yeah, we do. Brilliant. So back to the design. Um, so the kind of on the top kind of selector, 
Um, it's the little pencil in the square. There you go. Um, add a second point. So where it says points one out of one, click the plus button. Brilliant. So we're on the second point now. Yep. Um, let's go to say the six way symmetry. And then we could just put those guys in the middle to do a donut. Okay. Rotational symmetry, yeah. six way. And Select this dude and just rotate him 90 degrees or do I oh, click something else? Yeah. No, just, just rotate him. Cool. Okay. And I mean, kind of make whatever else changes. Do you want to move some? Why don't we move the, some of the outside guys out to make a loop? Yeah. Well, that's going to be a brutal transition. Oh, that's going to be a transition. Okay. Well, um, so let's look at that, right? So why don't you do that? Move that guy out. Oh, I've just changed my, I pressed Control Z too many times. Hang on. So you move that guy out, right? And now if you go to the very top menu, you've got the points left and right. Uh, uh, so the top toolbar. Oh yeah, on the top left. Yep. Yep. So point uh, one. And let's let's have a look how that transition looks. So why is my base still there? Because you have changed that in both points, I think. Oh, that's why I. Oh, I thought I'd hit Control Z. Uh, uh, you know what probably happened, Brian? You probably hit Control Z and you probably put it into the first point. First point, which is why it was different. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense. Okay, I might. I might need a big one or two in the corner just to make sure I'm on. Yeah, so it shows where it says points sort of one out of two and it's in the title. So there's as well. point one. Okay, so that's yep. point one. That's good to in the oh yeah, at the top in the middle. Okay, yep. I see that. So now let's go to point two. Yeah. Donut. Sweet. Cool. So now I can go back to point one. Yeah. Point two. And let's say you want to look at that a little bit more closely um, because you're not quite sure what's what's the problem here, but it looks like there's a bit of traffic. Um, if you go to the eye, <laughs> <laughs> you go to the eye indicator. Yep. Um, and you can slow down the animation um, to make that chill or slow. Oh yeah, now it's in slow motion. I can see that's quite a large vertical move, that person. Yeah, so that guy's um, that guy or, or girl is gonna have to be quite confident. Um, Perfect. Um, and so why don't you share this as well? And then we're gonna get that on the web. Sharing was the clock, no, uh, sharing so, was yeah. the three dots. Yeah. Uh, publish online, update jump. Uh, find my browser, bring it here, refresh. Make the screen bigger. And now it's got two points at the bottom. Yeah. And again, if you wanted to do it in slow motion, feature added only this morning. I love, I've got to say, I love the fact that you're so invested in this app that you're just, it's, you know, it, it's not cheap, but it is great value in it, but it's more, it's not, it's not going to earn you loads of money. So it, it's a hobby. I'm it's not going to get rich on this. No, exactly. It's a passion. That's what I mean. And it's, it's the drive to make something so perfect that is pushing you on that I, I really am impressed by. Cool. So nine people will be interested by point two, but everyone else will be a bit bored. Yeah, but I mean, they're so excited to get into a formation this big anyway, Brian. That... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They're, they're excited to be jumping with you and I, Rob. <laughs> Milko and Sean have maybe seen better things. <laughs> yeah, you reckon? Um, okay, so where do we go from here? Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of it. Um, so let's, let's have a quick look. So let's hit, hit down on that. Um, let's go back. Um, what other options? That, that's kind of it. It's 
the main thing is just making use of that symmetry. Um, takes a little bit of thinking. Um, and you saw how we, we kind of switched back and forth between the three-way symmetry and the six-way symmetry. Yeah, um, that's really clever. Let's just add somebody just to show the other symmetry style. If you um, go back onto the design page, um, so pencil in the box. Yep, done that. Yeah, and oh. we okay. look at the different symmetries. So the kind of the four box one is quite a fun one that you get quite a lot, particularly sort of guy right kind of jumps. Um, so if you drag out, why don't you drag out the kind of forward facing diamond and put them in the bottom left? Uh, Who? Uh, so fourth one down, kind of forward. Facing dumb. Oh no! From the from the kind of bottom controller. Oh, from the. We're, gonna, oh, we're just going to bring in more people. There we go. So see, that's the sort of classic face-off symmetry. So now you put them into rotational, um, but that's actually yeah. not what this symmetry is doing, right? So if you have them pointing facing upwards, see that's the sort of face-off. Yeah, that's yeah. We call this um, sort of two-way reflection. Um, like opposing yeah cool. Clever. oh you know and there's one other really useful thing to do so let's take those those guys let's say uh, i want you to drag um yeah so how to describe this so i want to pick out the kind of the the pair that's the second second piece down. I want I want you to drag them so that one of them is on the so main pick formation. Out, pick out another, the sorry, I'm being really unclear here. Um, we're going to drag out another two jumpers. Oh, so from the people. Be yep. from the box. But I want you to place them so that that left hand jumper is over the right hand wing on that kind of new diamond we dragged out. Like this. Exactly. So the uh, app is smart enough to say, I don't, you probably didn't want two jumpers right on top of each other. Um, so this can be really nice when you're building up um, things like jewels where you've got overlapping kind of donuts and diamonds. Um, you can kind of just put the donuts on top of each other. So building up the, um, the big jewel that we did uh, in Paris, um, it's kind of relatively straightforward when you can just kind of drag out your donuts and put them on top of each other. Oh, okay. It's funny when you hit, when you let go, of, when you move something and everything else moves across the screen, you're like, wait, what happened? But actually it's just the symmetry and you just got to get used to it. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah, so we, we haven't done color. Um, we, we kind of played a little bit with the color, I guess. Um, yeah, so if I wanted to split, say half and half, one color, half the other color. Yeah. Um, then go into um, yeah, you're just going to have to select uh, the people you want. Ah. And so that will be oh. doing the commands uh, select. Uh, so I need to take symmetry off to select people. Yeah. Command click. But I think using lots of colors um, actually just makes everything a lot clearer, particularly when there's transitions, because you can kind of follow the yeah. blue guy as he kind of moves in and follow the red guy as he, you know, turns around and passes over and so on. Oh, really? So you, you're, you're... I'm a big fan of this. It's super ugly, but it's just makes it really easy to kind of see what's happening in transitions. Okay. And if I want, just wanted, so if I just got a few people making a transition. Yep. And I just rotate through the colors like this, or could I, I can Yeah, Yes, so you can pick a color. color. Um, so the, that rainbow button is um, there just to kind of, it basically auto picks, um, you know, colors kind of spread equally around the hue, and, you know, rainbow as it were. Um, whereas this allows you to kind of pick your colors manually. Cool. And once you've picked red, so pick another guy, um, and you can just hit the red button, which is basically apply the yep. last color I've used. Cool. Where's orange? Um, that's the closest you're going to get until you update to the next version of Mac OS, which has got a much shinier color picker in it. Okay. Um, so that's the old one I had to build myself. That's cool. 
is there an easy way to big build stars? I uh, just go off symmetry. Yeah, symmetry is the best way to go on that. Um, up to you know, up to the sort of size of that symmetry. So if I want to now do say this is done, I want to yeah. save it, close it, and start something yeah. new. Yeah, just close it. Just the cross. Yeah. Has that saved it? It's saving all the way along. It's constantly saving. To my hard drive. To wherever you chose to create that file at the outset. In the, okay. Yeah. Ah. But now I've got to reload it. If you want to load it again. <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to. I wanted to design a second skydive. That's what I meant. Okay. I didn't mean. All to right. So it. now you click on the app. Um. So you can either do File New. Um. So just create a new window, or click on the app icon again. Ah. Or I could just open up the last one. And it's right there. Right, but you said you wanted to do a new skydive, right? Yeah, I did. So if I just wanted to close this, but keep the application open, is there a way Oh yeah. So that? just do File File New. So you can have lots of windows open. Sweet. And you can even do that um, on iOS. You can have multiple windows open, um, although it's kind of awkward to use on it, iPad only, but it's, it's, it's there. Cowabunga. Nice. So get rid of you. Give me a four way star. Ah. Have you thought about symmetry yet? Yes. So I would go straight in and start on thinking about that symmetry. So I wouldn't even have put in the four-way star. I'd have just kind of, I'd have had the symmetry going first. I know, but you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, meant, I meant to. I yep. will next time. Uh, so now I want two big loops. Right. Yeah, so the, this is just going to be two-way symmetry now, two-way rotation symmetry. Um, oh, two-way rotation. Oh, so what's this symmetry then? This well, so that the, would be symmetry. If you're going to have the loops, yeah, I mean, depending on how you set it up, right? So these are mirror symmetries. Um, yeah, so the mirror symmetry is two-way symmetry, right? Two-way rotational symmetry, I guess. So, yeah, so the rotational mirror is slightly different. Um, well, let's show it. So drag out, drag out one guy now with the mirror symmetry. And they're both going to be on the left-hand side. Okay. And if you delete uh, him and go to the rotational, then. Um, so now it's rotational two-way. So now if you drag somebody onto the same place. And they're going to be in the other quadrant. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's clever. Okay. So, but for the jump you've done, you could use either. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, what I would be tempted to do, uh, it's a little bit of a cheat in building this jump with the big stars, is to actually just build complete big stars uh, using symmetry, drag them off to the side of the screen, do that twice, and then drag them in to, to use them. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to be easier than <laughs> just doing it manually. <laughs> and that's right, dog. Always looking for a kind of a cheat. And that, that would be the only thing you could do that would be a cheat. You'd build them off to the side and then. No, so I, you have to build them in the center. So you oh, kind of clear your canvas, yeah. build them in the center, drag them off to the side, and then put them into place later. Yeah. OK. Interesting. Is there a way of clearing everything? I, I can just... Control A, uh, select all, or there's the select all button just me. down at the bottom, and then just delete. Oh, uh, yeah, select all. Deselect all. Huh. So, what, what symmetry would you have to build a star? Um, I'd just go for how many people are in your star? 21. Mm -hmm. 20. Yeah, it's really tough. I mean, you could just have the whole star. So you could have 10 way symmetry and you could do that with two people. And then you're just going to have to kind of manually shape it out. Oh, that's pretty good though. Oh, 
Oh, Rob, that was really easy. So now you do control A, you turn off on, symmetry. They just move, oh. No, no, because that's going to move the symmetrical group. So you want to select everybody. Oh, so control A. Once you've turned off symmetry, yep. And then move them to where you want them to be. Ha, huh, no way. And I'd probably move them a bit further to give you room to build the second loop. If I turn um, symmetry back on, is it not going to copy those people though? No, no, it never adds new people. Um, it just tries to figure out what you've got already on the page. So if I now turn on symmetry, nothing will happen other than it can't really understand. So it's showing them in that slightly grayed out. I don't know who's symmetrical here. If I bring in My wife bringing me a sandwich. I'll go and eat that later. Oh, you're a legend. Uh, so, control A isn't going to help you here. You're going to have to manually select these guys. Ah, oh, but I've only got to do two of them anyway. Yeah. So, if you kind of, as you click around, so that second, that's the thing that's worth talking about, actually. So, do you see that second loop is kind of chasing you around? So just stop yep. for a second. This one. So yeah, so that is a loop which is at the center of gravity of the people you've selected. So if you oh, rotate no that, it's going to rotate that group that you've selected. Yep. Um, which was making it a little bit tricky to select the people until you kind of you know selected more and then the that loop that thing moved it out of the way a bit. But let's show you another one as well. So do you see the little rotator in the bottom right? Uh, no, so a little spin loop. There you go. So spin that. That spins each individual in the group you've selected. Oh, that's not connected to the... I thought that was connected to the... Um, this other no, group so that, that just pops up anytime you selected uh, um, yeah. multiple people. Wow. So we could have used that in, um, in the earlier point to uh, do the rotation. Oh, I guess everyone was symmetrical then anyway. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, so I put them put them a reasonable bit out. I don't know how you're going to get that just right. Brian, I think this is the point where we kind of leave you to play. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. Okay, cool. I was just I, I'm not far off finishing this formation actually. I think if you just bear with me just a quick second, because okay. I've got one of the other toys to play with. I just want to if I drag. If I, oh no! Oh, man, hit the wrong button. Ah, so if they're off the screen, I just need to zoom out, don't I? Yeah. Whatever, bear with me just 30 seconds. Okay. I will see the, the magic in action. Nice. Bipole, which isn't quite what I wanted, but that is a 44 way, so close enough. Yep. For what this is, and I can play around with that and make that better. Ooh, ah, because they're the ones that selected. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah, thank you very much, Rob. I hope, you, hope this footage helps somebody. Yeah, I think it's great. I think, thank you very much for the idea, Brian. I think it's, it's, it's cracking. As I said, it's. There's, there's quite a lot here. So, um, you know, it, it just takes some playing and it, my top tip is to, you know, watch those tutorial videos, um, watch this video, you've already watched it. Um, and by the way, you can email me um, if you click on the help button um, right up the top, uh, then that I'm guessing pulls up the web page here. Um, somewhere in here, Brian, there is an email me button. Um, uh, you know what, I bet you it's in the app and it's under the sort of three dots section. How many, how many tutorials are there? Three, four, five, five tutorials at the moment. Yeah, yeah, one of them's a demo. So if you click on the three dots um, 
Uh, so that, that, one. that lets you show and hide the, the tools. Uh, next one down in the kind of picking the option section, um, send feedback, contact, send feedback. Uh, That'll cool. pile up and I'm pretty responsive on that stuff to, you know, suggestions, questions and so on. Yeah. Uh, skydive designer dot app. <laughs> For all your load organizing needs. Absolutely. All your load organizing needs. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with this now. Thanks very much, Brian. I'm going to go have my lunch. Yes, enjoy. See you, mate. Take care. Cheers.